Happy Thanks Patrick's Day. Thanks Patrick's Day. What the fuck is that? Guys, welcome back. It's a very exciting day. It is St. Patrick's Day, one of the best holidays of the year, and it would not be complete without a nice corned beef. So let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. Corned beef, it's St. Patrick's Day. They go together hand in hand. Um, it's actually not that Irish. It's more Irish American than anything. What you're gonna need for corned beef, first of all, it's gonna start with our brisket. But you can't just use any brisket off the shelf. You're gonna have to get one that's been already brined. I shop at Trader Joe's. They have already brined, already seasoned brisket. It's been going for I don't know how long, but at least 10 days. I'm sure other grocery stores have it. It's pretty common, especially on St. Patrick's Day. So go, this video is gonna come out. I know it's St. Patrick's Day. People are always like, why didn't you put this out the day before? Honestly, I didn't think of it. So you, at least you're getting it. I'm gonna try to get it out as early in the day as possible. So you still have time to go and get it to make it this evening. Or fuck it, make it tomorrow, make it Friday. Who really gives a shit? Do you? No, it tastes good, it's a good recipe. Come on, come on, work with me here. I don't always remember shit. Where you're gonna use an Instapot. Traditionally, you would boil it in water. If you don't have an Instapot, you can do the same recipe. It's just gonna take longer. Alongside the brisket, all we're gonna need is about four cups of water. It's about two cups per pound of brisket. Three, this is almost four pounds. So I'm gonna need more water than that. What was the math I just said? Two per pound four times two, eight. So I'm gonna need closer to eight cups of water. And if you're boiling it traditionally, all you're gonna need is enough water so it's submerged and there's an inch of water on top of it. I have an onion that I've quartered up and I have four cloves of garlic here that I just smashed. I'm stepping on garlic, motherfuck. Onions go into the pot. As you can notice here, we're trying a new setup. I'm not sure if it's gonna look good at all or gonna work. We're trying new shit out though. It's St. Patrick's Day. We're innovative. It's the Irish, it's the Irish spirit. Some of the best inventors were Irish. Rob, who are some Irish inventors? I have no idea, dude. There's gotta be a few. I mean, they invented the, uh, Alcoholism. We are gonna take our brisket. God, I'm stepping on everything today. Fucking A. You're gonna take your brisket out of the packet, out of the seasoning. We're gonna rinse it really well. Brian, it's very salty. We don't need all that in there. Rinse it off while you use cold water. We are just gonna stick this right in the Instapot. I'm just gonna pour over my water. You know what, I'm gonna add just a splash of beer. Mostly because I just wanna drink one of these. Whatever, a little splash of beer. Cover it up. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, dude. There we go, it's like a spaceship sometimes. Get your seal set to sealing, and then we're going high pressure, 70 minutes. I think everyone should have a pressure cooker, at least some kind, they're not that expensive. It just takes all the hard work out of those long braises, those long, slow cooks, it makes it everything easy. Don't Google pressure cooker bomb, you're gonna end up on some kind of list. What, do you think I was gonna forget fucking Guinness on St. Patrick's Day? Here we go, that's beeping, that's a good sign. No, you can't forget a Guinness. You gotta pour a Guinness right, you gotta get your, your 45 degrees. Okay, well. We're cutting this, we're, start that one over, dump it. Don't be afraid of it, don't fear the Guinness. Pour, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Tip, and then finish it off. Look at that, it's all, it's doing all the action. Motherfuck. All right, Rob, happy St. Patrick's Day, you fuck. Dude, you can't drink before cheer, that's bad luck. Yeah, but I drank because it was a, for the show. We have one minute left now on the pressure cooker. That's hot, I don't know why I'm touching it. We have one minute left on the cook time, so we're gonna get ready. We're gonna get our final little trimmings it's ready to go here. All that is is gonna be some cabbage and some potatoes, because it's not Irish, it's not St. Patrick's Day without potatoes, and cabbage is traditionally what you serve with the corned beef, so why not go all out? You don't have to do this, you can just do your corned beef, bang, you're gonna be fantastic, you're gonna have a beautiful meal, um, but I'm going the full package here. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna move this over here so you guys can see, oh shit, almost blew up in my face. All right, so for the cabbage, Jesus Christ, we're spilling, we're spilling. We're gonna slice this into wedges, so just take the core off, slice that right down. Those are good looking wedges. We're gonna put these back in the Instant Pot so they're gonna cook down so it doesn't really matter how precise that is. And just make sure there's no dirt in there. Look around. You should always just spray your vegetables down. It's a good habit to have. It comes from the ground in half and then in half again. Simple quartering. Now let's just take our pressure cooker. You should just let it release. We do it 70 minutes and then we do instant release. So just let it go. And there we go, all the steam's coming out. As you can see from the Instant Pot, it's my favorite part of the process. It's like a train coming down the track. Choo choo! And it smells amazing. The smell just walked into the apartment. The neighbors probably smell this. They probably hear this to go, what is going on? Is he making a bomb again? No, that was one time. We finished two Genai. This, this hasn't been filming anything. Oh, I didn't turn my light on, you motherfuck. All right, come on, hurry up. I'm fucking hungry. There's children that live all around me. That sounds weird that I know that. I think, was St. Patrick a pedophile? Was he the one that played the flute? Who was the one that had kids follow him around as he fluted? I think that was St. Patrick. If anyone out there knows if St. Patrick was the pedophile flute player, leave a comment and let me know, because I'm curious. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll never miss a video, you'll never be hungry again. Subscribe right now, click that button. Please, guys, I really appreciate it. All right, so we have depressurized completely. We can lift our lid. Look at that. 
Oh my God, it just comes in and wafts even more. We're gonna put our corned beef on this plate. We're gonna let it sit for a minute while we cook the rest of this shit. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at this, it makes you wanna do a little jig. A little Irish jig, a little Irish dance. We're all a little bit Irish, that's what they fucking say. I'm actually, I'm half Cuban. I don't, I'm not any Irish. Mikasa is sukasa. All right, so now this liquid is delicious. We're gonna cook the cabbage and the potatoes in this liquid. Problem is we have a little bit too much in there. A wee bit too much. Look, what is this camera even doing over here? Oh, oh, that's hot on my knees. How do they manage to spill? You're pouring, you're literally pouring it into a bowl. Let's throw about two cups back in. Now let's huck these wedges in. All these potatoes can go in. This is gonna take three minutes. That's it. I don't know, I might have ruined my pants. Time to slice into this bad boy. Look at this. Look at the fat cap on top. It just turned gelatinous. It's melted down. And all that hard connective tissue is broken down and turned into gelatin. I almost dropped it, but I didn't. Robbie, fuck off, dude. What you wanna do with corned beef, you wanna make sure you're cutting it against the grain. There are grains, you, you'll see them. They're very profound. They're very profound, is that the word? They're very pronounced. One of those words will work. They're very clear to see. Oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Let's just grab some of that cabbage, stick it on our plate here. And look, I know boiled cabbage isn't always the most vibrant looking, best looking thing. Guess what? Neither are the Irish. It works out perfectly well. It's harmony. Boom, right on top of that plate. So let's dive on in, let's take a bite. Look at that. I'm gonna get a little bit of cabbage in that bite too. There we go, there we go. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. There's the Irish jig. There's the jig. There's the luck of the Irish going through. This is phenomenal. This is fucking, this is St. Patrick's Day right here. That corned beef just melts in your mouth. It just disappears. All right, guys, that's how you do a nice St. Patrick's Day feast. Go out there now and drink your fill. Grab some Guinness, and I'll see you next time. I'm Chef Donnie. Peace.